Welcome, welcome back on C square. In this video clip, we're going to talk about dividing radical expression. We're going to start with something very simple. Uh, in this example, 11, we have uh, square root of 500 over square root of 5. Uh, here, probably the best way is to rewrite this quotient of square roots in a uh, square root of a quotient, right? We have a rule that uh, tells us that square root of a over square root of b equals square root of a over b. Uh, this goes in both ways. Sometimes you need it backwards. Don't forget. And in this case, we have 500 divided by 5 is 100. Square root of 5, 5, 100. That is 10. Okay. Pause this video clip and try number 12. If you end up with two, then you did a wonderful job. Right. Let's take a look to uh, expression, right? Now we have uh, x is y, isn't it? But again, we can do pretty much the same thing. Change that quotient of radical in a uh, radical of quotient. Okay, so we just copy it now. We're going to look for simplification. You either use loss of exponents or use simplification. So remember, 2 goes in 8 4 times, right? So we're going to have square root of 4. Okay. 1x here cancel 1 here, so we have x squared. Okay, and 1y cancel 1y here, so we have y to the 4 power. So we simplify. Uh, well, again, you can use the loss of exponents if you want. And now, we see here square root of 4, that is 2, square root of x squared is x, square root of y to the 4, y squared. Okay, so pause this video clip and take a look at number 14. Yeah, number 14 is the same, let's move on and take a look at number 15. Number 15, we're dealing with cubic root, but we can use the same rule. Right? It works for any index, cubic root, 4 root, 10 root. So we have here 250, x to the 7th, y to the 3rd, x squared, y. Okay, so uh, let's simplify first. And uh, we see here we have x squared, x to the 7th, that will be x to the 5th power. And y, and y cubed, y squared. If you want. So we have a uh, cubic root of 250x to the fifth y square. Right? So what about here? This is uh, a little bit different than the other ones. They are not perfect cubes. Oh, we can break it like we did before. 125 times 2x to the third power times x square. Right? Uh, don't forget this uh, cubic root. Uh, and y square, right? And now we look in this 125, right? That was a, that is a perfect cube. It's five. And then x cube here, right? Cube root of x cube of x, uh, and uh, that's it. The rest of the story too, right? X square and y square stay under the radical. So this is the final answer for number 15. Go ahead and try number 16. If you have this answer for number 16, you did a wonderful job. Uh, don't forget, uh, let me mention something. Some people may like to simplify things like this first. They will try to simplify, um, they will try to simplify expression like this, which, which is okay, or like this. You can do that and uh, go from there. Uh, there, are not, there is not a unique method. Uh, like I said, that radical rule, rule with caution works both ways. Um, 
play with it and uh, you will find the easiest way to do it. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to click the like button down right and come back and see square for more math video tips. Thank you.